Ridgeside K9 coming to you with Mr. Gibbs, who has just arrived. He's been at Ridgeside for less than 48 hours right here. Gibbs is a red healer, also known around the world as an Australian shepherd. He is a misunderstood dog. He has used his teeth too many times on his owners, uh, full bore bites, real deal punctures, not just little nips or you know scratches here and there. So Gibbs is at Ridgeside Canine for a very long duration until we can get this biting and aggression under control. All we're doing here is loading the clicker. No, this is not obedience. I'm literally just doing association right now. He will be a clicker e-collar dog, and I see great things for his future. Right now, we're working on a kennel. He is very, very, very aggressive going into or out of a crate and or the kennel. You can see he destroyed his bed the other day when I put him back in there. We'll get that replaced in a minute. Um... But he will bite, lunge, and try to bite you going into or coming out of the cunning. You see him growling and baring his teeth right there. Again, the door stays closed. He stepped back, stopped growling, click, click, and he gets some food. So we're working on just relaxing around the door opening and closing. You'll see him lunge a couple times here. And we verbally mark that with a verbal correction. And the second he relaxes, we click and feed. He'll be on the e-collar within the next 48 hours. Um, we're just transitioning a little bit slower than normal because of his aggression right here. And I don't want him to start assuming, you know, to try to fight the e-collar. I want him to just comply with the e-collar. And again, we do all our imprinting on the e-collar the correct way. The e-collar is not a hammer. It's not a punishment or a correction tool. It's just a communication tool. And it provides clarity of task very, very click quickly. E-collar in one hand and a clicker in the other. And again, here, as he relaxes and complies, he gets food and, and he starts to learn that I don't have to fight or bite at this door. I can just comply and life will be good. So. This is a game of inches with Gibbs. This is not a game I suggest everybody to play or you can wind up in a hospital. I'm not afraid of Gibbs, but I do have a lot of respect for Gibbs. These Australian Shepherds or Red Healer, whatever you want to call it. Um, very, very powerful bite. They're ingrained to bite and to herd, so they're very quick to use their teeth. But we have to teach them a new way to communicate. So I see big things for his future. He's going to be a fantastic dog. Richside Farm, Richside Canine. Again, we don't walk away here until we have a good gate close, and then we end it on that. Richside Farm, Richside Canine, give us a call if we can help you with your dog on any kind of aggression or obedience issues.